Assalamu alaikum. You are watching your favorite YouTube channel. This is Shubhil Sen Bhatti, and today we will learn split and concatenate functions in Microsoft Excel. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, press the bell icon, and share this video with your friends and family members. Split and concatenate function are very important when I need to split my data into different pieces or I need to combine the data pieces into one data set. You can see the example in split. My name is Shubhiri Sanbati, first name, middle name, last name. So I need to split the full name into first name, middle name and last name. So I will use this split functionality by using the Excel. So the Excel will convert this name to Shubhiri Sanbati. But on the other way around, the concatenate function will do will take first name, middle name, and last name and combine into one Shabir Hussain Bhatti. This is what split and concatenate function are doing. Split, first of all, we need to select the data. After that, click on the data tab and then text to column, and then you will see this window. To Split the data into pieces, we need the criteria. So, in this case, you can see the criteria is a space because there is a space between first name, middle name, and the last name. Sometimes we find semicolon, sometimes comma, sometimes tab. So, the criteria can be any, the delimited can be any. So, based on the character such as comma tab so this is the first functionality the second one is a fixed width so i need to split my data after five character ten character whatever so i can split my data based on some fixed width as well but in this example i will take the delimited from the delim delimited we have different type of delimited like tab semicolon comma space or a special I can mention in the text box and also treat conjunctive delimited as one if there are two three delimited in the same place so this system will consider them as a one delimited okay when I will select the space the preview window automatically split the data into different pieces based on my criteria like space comma or semicolon next for the next now here you need to format your data in the format of data is it journal is it text date or something like this in the advanced you will have more function like in number you need a comma separate options in the destination you will tell the system where you need the output and then finish you will get this information all the names are into first name middle name and the last name now concatenate as i told you the concatenate is a formula that is used to combine different type of text numeric data whatever so i can combine the data in the cell or I can combine the data as a constant all these things during the practice time but keep in mind when there is a constant data it has to be in double quotation you can see the example is equal to concatenate Pakistan came into being on then comma text is the function date is a function 14 August 1947 and DDMMYYY. So it will give me the output. Pakistan came into being on 14 August 1947. I can combine this data based on the cell data as well. So what I will do from the cell 1, cell 2, and cell 3, and then press enter, you will get the name separate with the comma. Why? Because in each column I am giving a double quotation with space so that the name will have a space between okay so this is now practice time let's go back to our practice sheet so that we will see so first of all I need to split select the data click on data tab 
and then text to column in the text to column delimited next so these are the delimited options it's a tab semicolon or a comma or a space because in this case it's a space i am selecting space and then next here i didn't i don't need any separate or special data data formatting that's it and then finish oops it's override that my it, it override my data no i need to specify the destination as well let us see undo control z and now data text to column delimited next it's uh, because it will automatically save my last option i had selected space so space is already there next here i need the destination in the destination select the first cell where you need this output then finish so now my original data is here and the split data is also there i can split data based on some dates where i have a special character to split it text to column delimit it next here instead of space i need the other which is the semi which is the dash okay and next after that i need this output to be here this is the destination and then finish so this is the month then so year month and date i can also do something like undo select text to column next so instead of delimited i will go for fix width next in the fix width i said okay this is my first this is my second and then next i need this output here and then finish so you can see first second and third because this is not considered as delimited so the system is considering this as a minus instead of dash minus 8 okay so this is the the practice for split now concatenate very simple concatenate concatenate as i told you this is a formula is equal to c o n concatenate and then what i need i need first second and third enter oops it's a one text no i need a space between different names very good so go to the formula double click for changes comma double quotation with one space again here double quotation with one space and then enter you can see should be abdul aziz bhatti and just copy and paste this formula or drag this formula everything is perfectly i can i can mention here instead of space i can mention a comma okay here i can mention with double quotation a comma or let us say a dash okay or semicolon whatever we can we can mention anything and the system will consider this as a text between two names okay that's it now again just for the for practice purpose text to column and then you can in the delimited you can mention semicolon and next in the output select any cell and then finish so you can see here it is perfectly working with semicolon as well is equal to concatenate pakistan is king in bean or then date you can see date is uh, date 19 47 comma 8 comma 14 
and that's it. Oops, one seven three nine three. This is a day number, so I need to format this text based on my requirement. So what I will do, I will apply another formula which is T E X T text, and at the end of the formula, I will provide the text format. In the double quotation, I need fourteen and D D space. M M M M full name of uh, month and then space Y Y Y Y four digit Y year and that's it. You can see Pakistan came to being on 14 August 1947 and in this way you can use the concatenate function and split the functionality using Microsoft Excel. Let's go back to our presentation. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Hit the like button. Share this video with your friend and family members. And send me your feedback for further improvement. Thank you very much.